Hi. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Woo! Woo! I don't know where to start. I literally don't. I don't know what to say. I don't know what this video is going to be about. Or what the title is going to be. <laughs> so much shit has happened. Oh my god. Okay. Well, uh, okay, first off, I'm sorry about that one video I made with my running makeup. And I said something about running away. I still 100% mean that. I wish I could do it. I'm hoping maybe one day something amazing will happen and it will be possible. But it has not been possible. <laughs> so I have not done that yet. Um, oh my god, so much shit has happened. Uh, I, I don't know where to begin. I just got back from Walmart and I just, I just went on TikTok. And every time I go on TikTok, I have so many requests and messages for some reason or uh, comments. And I clicked on it and it literally said that a girl commented, like, it literally said just now, like, right there as she followed me and commented. And she's like, oh my god, I follow your, or hey, I follow your YouTube channel. I don't know, some shit like that. And it was all uppercase and I was like, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> like, I forgot about, I, well, uh, my memory is really bad. I suffered a lot of poundings to my head in my past abusive relationships. So my memory is shit that's me okay so <laughs> whoa okay i got a new phone i had an iphone 6 plus for the longest time it was my first iphone i got it like last year broke it a lot since then so much shit has happened it was ass but it was amazing quality compared to my other shit phones and then that took a shit on me the front camera the audio was horrible it'll cut in and out i didn't know what the fuck was wrong with it so that's why I stopped making videos. But now I got a new iPhone. I paid for it. Um, I bought it myself because my other iPhone, my ex bought it. So this iPhone, I bought it. It's an XR. It's red. It's dope. I like it. It's not the best, but hey, it's... Uh, uh, whew, I'm out of breath. I've been out of breath a lot lately. It's just a medical condition. I don't fucking know. I'm stretching my ears right now. That's why the tape is right there. And look, bro, I got these gauges. Oh my god, I'm gonna like link link it down <gasps> okay i have this obsession with teeth okay ah uh, i even got teeth a uh, tooth tatted because my ex gave me his tooth and he took it back Ugh. anyways so look it ah! okay but i can't stretch it <sighs> i'm gonna get seen by a doctor but i don't have medical because someone stole my wallet and then when i try to get my medical cards back they're like bitch you don't got medical so like it's fucking confusing so i'm trying to get medical so i can get that taken care of but anyways so Bam, bro, look at it. Uh, it's a pair. This is a pair. Whatever. <sighs> and then this is a pair, bro. Look at this. <laughs> okay, so. Also, I haven't gotten any new piercings lately other than like my belly. I was going to talk about it. Uh, that's a whole other story. I want to redo these because I miss my Joker song. That's what you guys know me for. And I think I'm going to make a video on that soon. Bro, I know I'm gonna edit this shit like, uh, don't post that. You heavy ass breathing is <laughs> annoying. Okay, this is my room. Um, I wanna make a whole video on it because I was trying to make a video on it. Um, when I had my breakdown, I, I painted it and I moved it around. Whatever. Anyways, bones came back into my life. <laughs> Remember the guy I was always kind for? Sent me to jail, stole my snakes. Anyways, he hopped back in my life six. No. Four or five months after not talking at all, he like popped in and I didn't see until like a month later. He like messaged me like multiple times throughout the month or two and said that he missed me and all this weird shit. I got back in touch with him. We try to work it out and it worked. Shit happens. <laughs> He's still the same pathological liar and I'm still the manipulative, abusive girlfriend apparently. So it's like, it's just, it's not going to work out. Shit happens, whatever. Um... It'll hit me in, the, in a couple days. I'll be sad again. But, like, right now, I'm just, like, chilling. Shit happens, you know? Whatever. Shit happens. But, right now, I'm I'm so active. But my car is ass. I want to travel. But I have no one to go with. I want to go to the beach. I want to go to the mountains. I want to go to visit my friends in other towns. But I can't because my car is ass and I don't have a license. Um, I hit some car couple years ago when I had no license. I literally got 11 tickets within a span of three months. 
so that's not a good idea i shouldn't be driving but i drive yeah well i gotta go places if i couldn't if i couldn't drive i would probably be dead right now because i would be trapped inside my room inside my own thoughts and i will kill myself so i like driving i love driving i love getting out music is dope it silences the voices it's amazing man you guys don't understand <laughs> Yeah, you guys understand. Anyways, bro, I have been getting so much messages on me, uh, not YouTube, Instagram. Fucking, I haven't had any on Facebook yet. I have one girl hit me up on Facebook and said she watches my videos, and that's how she found me. But, bro, like everybody is so dope. Only one time I've had a girl hit me up. This is so weird. Ew, this is weird. That's what. Okay, I had this girl hit me up one time. And she just sent me a little paragraph, just talk about how ugly I am. And I was like, oh, I was like, should I say something? I just said, thank you, love. I think you're beautiful. Can't say anything bad about you. Good looking. <laughs> but like, literally, she just told me how ugly I am and how I, just how I'm ugly. I was like, okay, thank you. I'm not going to talk shit to you back because you're beautiful, but yeah. Anyways, that was so weird. But so much people hit me up and just tell me that they want to start making videos and this and that, bro, these bitches, some of these bitches live in California, some of these bitches live a state over, I would so go visit these hoes, like, oh my god, everybody is, like, so fucking dope, I, like, someone can't even tell me hi, like, you know, hi, because, like, I'm just like, oh my god, cool, you look like a dope person, want to hang out, and, like, <sighs> I need to stop doing shit like that, but it's like, ugh, I'm so friendly, but all my fucking energy is in one bubble. And then when I get around people, I'm just like, huh, you don't match my energy. So I can't really. Uh. <sighs> but yeah. Anyways, back to my wallet situation. I know I mentioned that. Um, my wallet got stolen. I don't know. I was at a fucking toasty local truck. If you guys know what that is, whatever. And this is why I hate Mexicans. <laughs> I don't hate Mexican. I'm Mexican. Like, you know, but some Mexicans are fucking assholes. You guys know that. So I left my truck there. There was like 10 Mexicans all behind me. I'm fucking Mexican. I speak Spanish. Like, so shut up, you know? But there's like 10 Mexican bitches behind me. You know, I placed my order. I put my wallet down because I had so much food in my hands and stuff. Walked away. Not one motherfucker said, hey, ma'am, dropped your wallet. Nobody said a word. I walked all the way to my car, which was a little, a few steps. Nobody said a fucking word. And an hour later, somebody tried to take out money from my bank and all my cards. <laughs> so that was fucking ass. But, um, yeah, that was interesting. But, um, yeah, so I got to get a new ID. I don't know why I had my social security card in there, but that has made it so much harder because I'm stupid and I had that card in there. So now I can't get my ID. So I haven't dyed my roots because I'm waiting to dye my roots so I can, till I get my ID. And I'm probably going to do that tomorrow, so I'm probably going to do this tonight. I just bought the shit. I went to Walmart and I bought a lot of shit, but I think I'm going to do it. Oh my god, look at my fucking Walmart shirt. I love Walmart shirts. I see my sister wearing it. I was like, bitch, I'm going to copy you. And she was like, okay. But, um, bro. Okay, so I gotta do my ID. But I'm kind of scared because I do these Joker lines. I've been doing them since I was 17. And I'm wondering if they're going to make me take them off. Last time I was a little 18 year old and I was like, I don't want to get in trouble. So I didn't do the Joker lines. Or heavy makeup but this time like fuck everybody fuck everything i want to be obnoxious so i don't know and i'm sad because i bought a whole bunch of hoop earrings because i'm kind of going back to my cholo stage a little bit like little by little and i had a second piercing here so i could wear hoops and i swear i just had it in a couple months ago i put on fucking satan and now it's closed <laughs> so i don't know what's going on it's like completely 100 percent closed it's weird but yeah, so, so, oh my god, I don't even know what the fuck, I gained like 20 pounds, I am a fucking eater, I think I'm starting, like, I'm starting to believe I have an eating disorder, because, bro, like, my eating has gone fucking crazy, I just eat, like, for the moment I wake up, I'm thinking about what I'm gonna eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and like, fucking five snacks in between, like, I'm just like, thinking about it. Is this a flamingo or an ostrich? I thought it was a flamingo. 
I bought it at Pismo. I was telling everybody, it's a flamingo. And they're like, oh my god. And I fucking find out, well, my ex Easy told me it was a fucking ostrich. Ostrich. And I was like, I refuse to believe that. So I looked it up and they said it is, but I don't want to believe it. I really don't. Oh my god, I started reading fucking tarot cards, bitch. <sighs> I don't know how to say his name. The the Toro. I don't fucking know. I use the front camera. My bad if it's backwards. But I started reading people's cards. And it's a little too accurate. I read my ex's cards when we started talking again. It says he's a pathological liar. Which is literally him. And it says that he's never going to be happy. So that's amazing for me. But my sister's cards. Her boyfriend's. My mom's. My brother's. Everybody's cards I read are so accurate it's amazing but i do gotta have my phone there reading definitions and shit like that come on i have trouble i'm i'm a beginner it's amazing look at these illustrations Whew. no no it's not cool oh my god ah, okay anyways <sighs> look at my backpack have you guys seen my backpack look at the patches are all falling off i got some of them in pismo hot shots Speaking of that, I've been going to Pismo so much. I went to Pismo like 20 times last year. I want to go to Santa Cruz. Oh my god. I want to do something. I have so much energy. Okay. I can't breathe. I've been smoking a lot. That's probably not good. That's probably why I can't breathe. I don't fucking know. I've been doing a lot of witchcraft. I've been doing a lot of stuff. I've been trying to get out. Trying to do stuff. Trying to keep my mind busy. That helps me the fucking most. And another thing, I have zero room for negativity and for hatred. I've been hanging around with a lot of females lately, all my friends. I'm not going to lie. They get into stuff and they talk about stuff and they have their issues. Oh my gosh, me, I'm just like, okay, like, you know, hearing them out. But like, I have no hate in my heart. I can't hate anybody. Like, you know, like... They'll be talking about their problems. I'm like, oh, oh, what about yours? I'm like, honestly, like, because all my problems involved my ex, Bones. I was like, Bones isn't worth my time. He's not worth yours. So, like, we're not going to talk about him right now. We're not going to talk about anything right now. I don't want to think about it. You know, so it's like, I can't hate anybody. I could dislike people. There's people that I don't fuck with because they don't fuck with me. Hey, you know, you want to hate me? Cool, that's your issue. But I have no hatred for anyone. Like, I don't hate anyone. I just, I'm chilling, bro. Hella chilling. But, um, yeah, so it's like, it sucks because I want to stay positive. But I want to, like, oh, there's so much I want to do. I want to get out. I want to go to one of those piece of shit little towns like Idaho. I don't fucking know. Louisiana. I don't know. Some piece of shit fucking town. I just want to go and get a house in the middle of nowhere and fucking start a cult. Do something. I don't fucking know. Just rent a house with, like, fucking five people and just like be friends and chill all day i don't know man like fuck oh my god my dream place to visit or to stay at or to go camping out or anything washington or oregon beautiful fucking place beautiful i'm gonna show you guys my room but please just don't hate me because like a lot of people talk shit because i like what i like and you know what i'm fucking sorry bro uh, anyways this is my baphomet i love him his name is Gerald, and this is Benedict. Um, I've had him since I was like 17. My wallet killers. I actually was writing one of these. I'm not gonna say who because none of your guys' business. I don't want you bitches to start writing him too. This is my baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got a Night Stalker tattoo recently. That's we're not gonna get into that, okay? And then ah, oh my god, my phone fell. Okay. And then my tanks. My room's messy. My mask. This is bones. I also call him Bones, because my ex. Ugh, I don't want to talk about that right now. And then my handprints. As you can see, I get all my decorations during Halloween. And then my other devil. I want to do like a full room thing, but when my room is actually clean, all my shoes. Whoa. There's more under my bed, but. Whew. Anyways, so. There's so much to talk about. Okay. So, <laughs> this started because um, that girl who commented on my TikTok literally, like, 15 minutes ago. So, basically, I need to start making videos because I'm realizing people 
watch my shit my shit is literally public even if it's four of you guys people are out there watching my shit i don't know why i don't, I don't fucking know but there's people out there doing it so it's like i need to start making interesting videos i need to start doing something wait did i even show you guys these like oh my god these are fucking amazing my misfit one anyways okay so i need to start um making videos and i go out with my friends a lot we'll randomly just decide hey let's go to the beach at like midnight or some shit like that or like hey let's go do this and that so i'm gonna start recording that maybe like being with some of my friends just doing shit like i need to start being out there i'm wanting to do more piercings some of that makeup videos you guys like my makeup or want a makeup video shit like that so let me know what the fuck i should do let me know if you're ever around i live in fresno california let me know if you're anywhere in the area we can be up to chill we can do some shit i don't know it'll be fun but i need more friends <laughs> and i want to like let my energy out oh my god my breathing is fucking getting to me i swear i'm gonna get a check soon but anyways i don't know what to talk about i had so much energy in the beginning and now i kind of just want to smoke and go to sleep but yeah let me know what i should do what we should do let's go fucking do something bro i want to do something send me the fuck up but yeah anyways let me like oh and i also want to make videos about like talking like oh i want to do a video <laughs> where my mom rates my exes one to ten looks personality <laughs> uh there's a few of them and i just but i'm trying to get her to agree because she's like she's weird and my sister's really girly so i want to do like a a switching <laughs> styles for a day oh gosh it's gonna be horrible but anyway i don't fucking know let me know what i should do let me know what you guys want to do if you guys ever want to hang out or chill with me i'd be bored i want to do something hit me up okay Bye-bye.